Hey everyone, welcome to the results video of multiplayer round 39. Now in this round, uh, as you can see, all the plots started out with the same uh, junior coaster. And players all had to decorate the same coaster. Now a lot of stuff was allowed, for example, uh, players could change the vehicles, uh, they could change the operating mode. Um, they could uh, launch them uh, from the station uh, into the layout. Uh, a lot of stuff was allowed. Uh, as long as they didn't change the layout of the coaster. So, um, yeah, unlike uh, previous rounds, uh, we actually had 25 plots in this round. Uh, this meant, of course, that uh, more players than normal could enter, but it also meant that players had less uh, tracks uh, or shops to work with, because the ride limit is uh, 255. So every player could place uh, 10 uh, shops or uh, tracks uh, including this junior coaster. So yeah, that was also uh, a limit uh, for the for the players to uh, work around. Anyway, I will just uh, start with the one that got last place and then we'll continue on until finally we arrive at the winner of this round. Okay, here's the here's the completed map. I love the way this uh, looks. I love uh, crowded uh, maps that are filled with uh, multiplayer uh, plots. Um, so yeah, the, the plot that got last place is uh, this one from uh, Kanaifa. Let me uh, quickly do the cutaway view on it. So yeah, um, it is kind of his uh, usual style. So a little building, some uh, trees here and there, some uh, decorations. But yeah, it's clearly uh, missing uh, yeah, something. It, uh, it kind of looks uh, unfinished, uh, probably because of all the grass that's uh, still visible here. And I'm not sure if it was a good choice to uh, turn this junior coaster into a giga coaster. Especially since it's such a, such a short layout. It probably would have already been better if it did more than just one uh, circuit. So it looks like quite a boring ride now. So yeah, I don't think that's, uh, this uh, plot looks bad. In a larger map this uh, probably would have looked really nice. But compared to all the other entries uh, this was uh, quite undecorated. Alright, the next entry on the list is the one from AJ Perry. Now, as you can see this uh, part of the plot is also still quite undecorated. So I think he forgot about this entry or just didn't have inspiration anymore. Um, yeah, when you make large buildings like these, uh, it's usually a bad idea to make them look hollow on the inside. It's probably best to actually make some uh, floors, because real buildings also usually are not uh, uh, hollow. At least not when you make them look like an office uh, building. So yeah, um, there's a train track right under here, and for the junior coaster he put actually put these uh, automobile uh, cars on top i think that uh, actually works better than uh, changing it into a giga coaster so i think this actually looks like a quite a, a fun ride of course they only do one uh, circuit but uh, for a kiddie coaster with just uh, single cars i guess that uh, can be forgiven uh, probably i would have uh, decreased the number of cars on this one a bit because, uh, yeah, only uh, one or two can be on the track at the same time, and they uh, there's always uh, five waiting in the station. But yeah, that's just a nitpick. Now, these rides also still have the default colors, so it's definitely uh, unfinished. Okay, here's the entry from uh, Scrimly. He made this, uh, he changed the coaster into a little mine train coaster. I actually don't think that's a bad idea. I like the way it looks. Um, you often see uh, family coasters or junior coasters use uh, a train locomotive at, at, as the front train. So I think this is quite uh, fitting for this uh, coaster. I like the little towers here. And there's some mine decoration uh, yeah, scattered throughout. Uh, what most players uh, complain about is that, um, yeah, it actually looks quite uh, sparsely uh, decorated. It's mostly just uh, dirt with some uh, stuff from the mine uh, team set uh, scattered uh, throughout. Now, when you make a mine team, it's usually a bad idea 
to just uh, put random uh, stacks of wooden planks, uh, barrels, uh, junk uh, throughout. Uh, you also won't find uh, stuff like that uh, scattered randomly in a in a real uh, mine. So yeah, when you make do a mine team, actually you decorate it like a mine. Don't uh, throw this stuff around. It makes it look uh, quite messy. It's a complaint I often have when people uh, try to do a mine team for the first time. Okay, then we get the entry from uh, Kefra. Uh, he made this uh, junior coaster. Let me quickly disable the rain before we continue. Let's disable breakdowns as well. So yeah, he made this coaster called Kefra's uh, Big Bad Wolf Junior. I believe uh, Big Bad Wolf was the was a suspended coaster, and I believe it also had this uh, color scheme. Um, I like the little buildings that he made; uh, they're nicely uh, decorated. Although this one does have a bit of a weird shape, maybe. But yeah, these buildings—they uh, have really nice uh, layering here on the walls. Some nice roofs as well. So those are uh, re really cool. The supports—I think they also work here. But uh, other than that, yeah, it looks a bit sparsely decorated. There are some uh, some trees here. The rock work um, not really doesn't not really look uh, convincing to me. And this area over here, it probably could have used some extra decorations as well. And then it probably would have scored a lot better. All right, then we get the entry from uh, Samurai Sam, who uh, finally didn't score in uh, last place. So. Uh, I think that's worth, uh, worth uh, congratulations. Uh, he decorated his uh, coaster in the Roman theme. Uh, so yeah, he used some of these uh, six-seater wooden roller coaster uh, cars. I'm not really sure if that was uh, such a good choice. I probably would have just kept it a junior coaster. Um, so yeah, lots of uh, Roman uh, temple buildings here. Uh, but yeah, there. I think the Roman theme on itself um, doesn't really have much to choose from, and all looks a little bit too wide, in my opinion. It probably uh, could have used a different uh, floor type. That probably would have already made it look uh, a bit better. But yeah, all in all, I don't think that this is a bad entry. I especially love this uh, little statue here in the middle in this uh, little pond. Okay, then we have this entry from uh, Zarathustra. Uh, he turned his uh, junior coaster into a coaster named Hellrider. He had a really funny story for his uh, for his entry. He said that it's, uh, I believe, his brother or uh, some some bullies uh, took his coaster and uh, changed it into the Hellrider, and now nobody want could ride it anymore besides them. And it's also signified by all these signs here saying "No kids, <laughs> keep out, danger." And there's actually this uh, this cool ride. Uh, so yeah, you can see all these uh, ramps here, and there's uh, guests uh, cycling around here. Well, Sarah <laughs> hell bikes. So yeah, it's kind of funny how they yeah, do all these uh, jumps over these ramps uh, in between this uh, coaster. I think this is a uh, this is uh, was quite a funny story, and I think the story was uh, well executed here. Okay, here in the corner we have this plot from. Uh, Savvy Adam, uh, he uh, gave his junior coaster this uh, looping coaster track. I think it uh, works well, and he kept the log trains from the junior coaster. Now he put some uh, little buildings around it. Um, well, when you make these buildings, I think it's usually not a good uh, choice to make uh, your buildings uh, one by three tiles. Uh, if you're going to put a roof like this uh, on top of it, it, uh, it looks kind of weird. And when you make a building, you'll usually want to have a door in it, so someone could actually uh, enter, or it could look like someone could enter. Uh, also for the station building here, I think this roof here uh, looks kind of weird. The roof here is actually cut out to make place for this uh, section of roof. I think that uh, that looks uh, kind of strange. If you're gonna do a roof like this, you really want it to uh, blend in with the original roof. So let me see if I can uh, actually get that to work quickly. Uh, let's disable clearance checks. 
something like this <laughs> and that already makes it look uh, 10 times as good i think now um there's also a little lighthouse here i kind of like the way this uh, looks and uh, some uh, vegetation along the shore as well i especially like this uh, dry grass that he made with the uh, japanese snowball trees okay then we have the entry from real steel uh, let me quickly see if i can uh, cut it out there it's, it's cut out now um, so he uh, changed his uh, coaster into this uh, again a mine train but with really short uh, trains to be honest i'm not a really big fan of these uh, short trains i think these uh, coasters uh, look better with longer trains and as a bonus you can also let them do uh, multiple circuits if you only use one train uh, i do really like this uh, station this is a really nice uh, mixture of these uh, roofs and uh, some uh, scenery i also like how we used these uh, these uh, stone blocks as such i think they are used as chimneys here some nice layering here as well i love this combination of these uh, marble walls with the pirate walls uh, behind them nice little shop here and i also really like this uh, castle that's here uh, on the top this bridge also looks uh, quite cool so yeah lots of uh, funny uh, little uh, details here but again not <laughs> i'm not a big fan of these uh, tiny uh, coaster cars okay here we have the entry from mr mcmarkey mark uh, he made this uh, he turned this junior coaster into something uh, crazy uh, for some reason it's using uh, elements from the dinghy slide i'm not really sure why um, so yeah, you can see the lift hill here with the dinghy slide track and for the curved parts he actually combined it with the mine train track now i have no idea why this uh, dinghy slide track is here but it do does sure uh, make his coaster look uh, unique i probably wouldn't have uh, gone for that but yeah um he made his coaster dual with this uh, inverted hairpin coaster that's also an uh, interesting uh, choice the timing is is very good of these coasters um, i think they uh, interact uh, quite well throughout the ride now he also made this uh this drop tower here or this uh, actually it's a launch uh, launch tower i like how he put this uh, skeleton on top also with a crown made of uh, bones that looks uh, pretty cool and of course i like how all these uh, temple pieces are uh, are here so yeah definitely some uh, really nice uh, decorations throughout in the end it does look a little bit uh, crowded uh, there's just stuff uh, crammed in uh, everywhere so that makes it uh, yeah, hard to, uh, to see everything uh, at a glance. But, but I think it is a uh, really good uh, usage of, uh, of all the space there was in this entry. Okay, here we have the entry from uh, Dididi. He uh, turned, also used the six-seater cards for his, uh, for his junior coaster. But at least he kept uh, one train and it does two, two uh, circuits like uh, most uh, junior coasters do. They usually uh, do two or three circuits if they have a short layout like this. Now, I really like the way he decorated his. There's lots of uh, flowers, plants, uh, even a little water wheel here. That looks uh, pretty cool. Uh, some tubes going into this uh, building here. That might be what's uh, powering here. Or maybe the pump system is in here that's powering the wheel. <laughs> that's probably how it is. Now his landscaping does remind me a bit of his uh, contest entry in the last uh, big uh, contest. Uh, it kind of uses the same colors. Uh, it looks nice and overgrown and uh, I also kind of like this, uh, these buildings. I'm just not really sure about this, uh, about this uh, roof that he made here. I think this uh, looks a bit uh, questionable. Also um, he made a transfer track here but um, yeah, I'm not really sure if a transfer track is uh, necessary if your coaster only has uh, one train. If you have two trains for your coaster, then I can understand it. Uh, maybe this is a maintenance uh, check. But yeah, if a coaster only has one train, maintenance is usually simply done in the in the station. Okay, then we have the entry from uh, Birian. Uh, Birian. Uh, turn his junior coaster into a looping roller coaster 
or at least it uh, it uses that uh, that track that's one circuit i would have made it do uh, two or three circuits uh, but i think it looks uh, really nice i love how we uh, used these uh, pieces here to uh, these corner pieces to make the footers for his uh, for his coaster i think that's a really nice uh, combination the the brown supports on these uh, sandstone uh, yeah fillers that's that's really cool uh, i really like the the buildings on this uh, on this entry they look uh, really nice nice layering here on the windows especially here on the bottom i really love this combination of these arches with these uh, glass windows uh, behind them and uh, the red uh, outlines of the windows that's uh, i really like that although uh, on this uh, building it's probably a little bit too many layers so you can see some glitching uh, going on here also on these buildings uh, usually you'll want to uh, avoid having a roof that slopes uh, into the building because this is where uh, water or uh, snow would, uh, would uh, accumulate um, also uh, i really liked the the landscaping here these trees uh, they look uh, really good in the water and I love the fence uh, around it. All right, here we have an entry from a newcomer, uh, Cedra. He made this uh, lovely little barn here. I really like the shape of this uh, barn. That's a nice uh, round roof here uh, with some extensions to the side. And yeah, he also used the mine train car for his uh, coaster. I think that works uh, pretty well. Coaster does uh, two circuits. I like that. Um, he made a little water tower here, uh, a snack shed, <laughs> so another barn uh, next to the original one. Even a little lake here with a rowing boat on top, and there's a horse uh, galloping uh, around, even a crow flying around. So yeah, there's lots of uh, cool uh, little details everywhere. Um, I also love the flowers here, the the all the other plants as well so yeah just uh, lots of nice uh, little uh, decorations here and it looks like the water tower is actually a functional ride <laughs> that's also uh, pretty cool so yeah lots of uh, lovely little uh, details here i really like this entry okay here we have the entry from uh, hank the super nerd uh, he made this uh, really cool tank here in front and actually looks like it's uh, shooting uh, yeah rounds but it's actually just uh, a wild mouse coaster uh, traveling uh, around here. I think the wild mouse trains have the perfect shape for a tank uh, round, for a tank missile. Now, uh, he called his coaster Trooper. I believe he actually launches it from the station here. He actually uh, put some extra banking on the track here, but it's just for visual effect because uh, he didn't actually change the layout. He just overlaid these uh, bank tracks uh, on it and the, and the train doesn't actually bank because it follows the original train. so yeah <laughs> i think that was a funny trick that he used um, in order to make the track look banked but uh, but not actually modifying the layout now i really like the buildings that he uh, put here this looks uh, really nice even a little helipad here but um yeah what uh kept him from scoring higher was that he uh, uh, he said he forgot about his entry at some point so that's why it's still quite rough around the edges and uh, you can clearly see it's uh, unfinished uh, in certain places so yeah I'm, uh, I'm quite sad to see that actually okay here we have the entry from Emil now let's uh, do a little cutout um, so yeah he made a really nice uh, building here a station building for the coaster it actually travels over it and through it uh, several times. Yeah, I like the look of these uh, windows. He used the medieval windows with these pirate walls uh, behind them. That gives a really nice effect. The building has a nice and irregular uh, shape. Although uh, this pole does seem to be glitching to it. Oh wait, no, that's uh, actually supposed to be there. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I like how there's a maze right under the coaster here. For uh, quite a bit of the layout, I think that looks uh, really cool. Uh, he even made a little shoestring uh, ride here. Uh, yeah, I love the way uh, this looks with these uh, suspended swinging coaster cars. 
And there's also a, I guess it's a mini version of uh, Pulsar here. This uh, also looks uh, pretty cool. Here's a nice little fountain and some uh, extra buildings here. It's a meadery that uh, sells uh, drinks. So yeah, it's just uh, a nice little plot with lots of uh, character. So uh, really nice work. Okay, here we have the entry from Paiv. <laughs> Paiv. I still have trouble pronouncing his name. <laughs> he told me it was Paiv. Anyway, um, he actually uh, combined his, uh, well, he changed his junior coaster into a B&M sit-down coaster and he put an inverted coaster below it. Or maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> I'm actually not, uh, not sure. Uh, but yeah, I think they uh, do well uh, nicely, also with some cool supports. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a very uh, unique uh, entry. I love how they uh, travel above each other. And again, just like in this uh, contest entry, he also put uh, some of these uh, fishes here uh, swimming around. So basically he used the trick by putting a wooden roller coaster through a reversing element of the hardline twister coaster. It uh, turns them into little green triangles or uh, squares, I mean. And uh, yeah, by uh, making those travel underwater, they kind of look like uh, fishes uh, swimming around. Now in the rest of his uh, entry, there's uh, lots of uh, gardens here, which he, which he used these uh, monorail walls for, with, uh, uh, with these colorful gardens on top, with some trees mixed in. I think that looks really cool. Although I think it would have looked ev really even uh, cooler if these uh, if these uh, walls actually had some color rather than uh, only being brown. But yeah, uh, also nice, uh, nice building here. So uh, yeah, definitely a very uh, cool entry. All right, then we have the entry from the wharf. Now it's going to be a little bit interesting to do a cutout view here. Okay, I think I managed. <laughs> so yeah, for his uh, coaster, he actually gave it uh, he kept the junior coaster track, but he gave it spinning wild mouse cars. I think that's a really uh, interesting choice. I think this uh, could actually uh, work as a ni nice layout for a spinning wild mouse. Although it, it might be a little bit short. Maybe he could have done a long wa one uh, long train. But still, uh, I think this is one of the best looking uh, entries uh, so far. Uh, these uh, buildings that he all made here, they look great. Uh, especially with these, uh, what are they called? These sandstone skyscraper fillers uh, to the side. They uh, they were great to add some uh, depth to your uh, buildings. Now he also put these uh, water slides here, but uh, they actually don't work. Um, there's probably also not even a, a, yeah, they would not even be able to work because there's no track leading uh, towards here. But yeah, it's, I think it's nice how we gave the illusion of uh, some uh, slides here that the guests uh, would be able to use. So yeah, I think this uh, this just looks really nice. I uh, love all the buildings here and the foliage also is uh, really nice. Okay, then we get to the plot right next to it. This one's made by uh, Supra the Hedgehog. Let me see if I can manage here. Yes, I did it. <laughs> so yeah, this is... Uh, once again, a very uh, tall entry from uh, Supra the Hedgehog. He uh, made this big building around the junior coaster, which is uh, still around here somewhere. Here you can see it. Uh, yeah. To be honest, I'm not sure if it was necessary to make the building as tall as it is now. Probably it would have uh, done just as, just as well uh, if it was only this uh, tall. But yeah. Um, Let's do the cutout, the cutaway view here, just so we are able to see uh, right uh, down here. So I love how he uh, decorated his uh, junior coaster here. This uh, building for the station looks uh, lovely. I like how he also made uh, these little entrance gates for the guests. You can see some guests uh, queuing here. Um, yeah, there's lovely uh, buildings uh, throughout this uh, plot. Some nice gardens. I love these fences here to the side and these uh, statues. Some nice, uh, some evacuation stairs here as well. 
I'm not sure if those are necessary for such a small coaster. But yeah, just uh, just a really cool uh, details here throughout the plot. And it's definitely a very uh, imposing uh, structure. Okay, then we get the entry from uh, Davy. Uh, he just filled his uh, plot with uh, with a lot of buildings. So it's uh, almost tough to see the junior coaster, but it's uh, actually here. He actually turned it into a looping uh, roller coaster. Uh, it only does one circuit. Probably uh, would have been nicer if it did too. Uh, these buildings, I think they look uh, great. Uh, really nice uh, layering. Also nice uh, differences between uh, floors. Um, yeah, some nice uh, layers uh, for the buildings in between. And uh, yeah, I think these uh, buildings look uh, interesting from all uh, angles. Though there's some uh, glitching going on here and there, but it's not uh, too bad. But yeah, it is uh, kind of difficult to still see the roller coaster in between all of this. Now, he also made one of these uh, first generation uh, drop towers. Uh, I think he likes making those. And if we use the cutaway view, we can actually see uh, more down into the into the plot. It's quite cool to see how uh, all these layers are uh, built up here. Okay, then we get to the entry from Manticore007. He made this uh, entry. I believe it's a uh, Greek style or uh, Arab. Probably Greek because of the blue, but uh, yeah, I love the way this uh, looks. Oh yeah, it uh, says uh, entrance, uh, Ghost of Sparta. So yeah, definitely a uh, Greek. And he actually replaced his uh, junior coaster cars with these uh, steeplechase cars, so it looks like there are horses uh, going around on the track. So I haven't seen anyone else uh, do it. No, I love all these uh, buildings. These uh, buildings, they look uh, fantastic. I love this little tower here and this uh, bigger building as well. It looks like the guests can also get on the second floor here. Uh, I really like the flag that he put on top here. Kind of looks like the Greek flag. Uh, there's also these uh, ruins here. I think these ruins uh, look uh, fantastic. So yeah, this uh, I think this is executed uh, really well. Except maybe not for these uh, brown flowers. Probably could have used a little bit more uh, color. But yeah, this is just a great, uh, great execution. Also, I love this uh, sign that he put here on the side. Uh, yeah, decorating, putting a sign in your plot and decorating it well is a great uh, way to, uh, yeah, to spice up your uh, entry. So yeah, if you're joining one of these rounds and you have some open area, just put some signs, uh, put some fences behind it, uh, some some sloped fences, some normal fences. Usually put some water fountains or uh, waterfalls under it. And uh, yeah, it will just make your plot uh, usually look uh, much, much nicer. All right, here we have the entry from uh, Jens J. <laughs> and them. <laughs> he uh, definitely decorated the hell out of his, uh, his entry. So yeah, it looks uh, like uh, something straight out of, uh, of a Star Trek uh, movie <laughs> or something. Or uh, anyway, something in space. Um, he used these gravestones uh, for stars. Um, I don't really kn know uh, if that really works. Um, but yeah, at least uh, he made his coaster look really interesting. So for his junior coaster, he used these hyper coaster trains. It's an interesting choice uh, for sure. Sadly, they only do uh, one circuit uh, too. No, I, re I really like all these uh, tubes that he put throughout his entry. Uh, all these uh, buildings and this big... Uh, all these uh, plants here, or this uh, this inverted coaster track. Uh, this, these are probably uh, tentacles. I probably should have read the story uh, better. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this definitely looks awesome. Uh, I believe I read something about this being a UFO. Not sure, but uh, it definitely looks uh, amazing. So yeah, great uh, great work. Okay, then here we have the entry from uh, Ricardo Wodo. And he decorated his entry in a pirate uh, style. He actually gave the coaster, these uh, water coaster cars. I think that's a really uh, fun uh, choice. And it works well with the pirate theme, I think. Of course, he couldn't change the layout, so he could not actually give them a water splash. But I think the, these uh, coaster cars uh, 
do work for this. Uh, yeah, for the way he decorated it. Now, I love these uh, little buildings that he put here. Um, some interesting uh, roofs, uh, some nice uh, layering here as well. Not sure if it's a good idea to slope these uh, roofs inward here. And uh, this boat here looks uh, absolutely uh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, just a nice uh, track of texture. And these uh, sails uh, also look uh, quite good. I probably put, would have put some extra layers of uh, monorail here. Now he actually also made some uh, seahorses, which are represented by these uh, monorail uh, cycles uh, go traveling uh, underwater here. But yeah, it's definitely a very uh, interesting entry. All right, then here in the corner, we have this entry from Acme. Um, I believe this is the first round he uh, joined. And damn, this was uh, <laughs> this was one of my favorites. Um, these buildings here, they look uh, fantastic. <laughs> I also like this uh, dinosaur peeking out of the roof. That's, uh, that's quite funny. Uh, so yeah, he changed his coaster into a mine train coaster, or at least it has that, uh, that track. Um, so yeah, I love all the layering on these uh, on these uh, buildings. Uh, he put these uh, doors with uh, glass uh, in front. It looks like he made some really interesting roofs uh, for it. I also really like this crane with the gorilla inside it. Called "How do I drive this thing?" <laughs> so just really cool uh, details throughout. Here you can see all this rock work here. This rock work is uh, fantastic. It's a nice mixture of these uh, base blocks. Uh, curved base blocks and these ruined uh, statues and some stone blocks. This looks uh, fantastic. Also really like this uh, this uh, train bridge that he made here. Uh, this looks really cool with these arches and these, uh, what are they called? These New York corner filler pieces. They work uh, great together. So this bridge, uh, I really like it. And a little uh, garage here uh, right next to it. So yeah, this is uh, definitely a really nice uh, style of building, which uh, I would love to see more uh, in the future. So yeah, a great entry from uh, from Acme. Okay, here we have the entry from uh, Anda23. He made this uh, plot based on uh, the story of the ugly uh, duckling. So you can see some uh, beautiful swans uh, going around here. And this uh, coaster is actually the ugly uh, duckling. So he uh, gave his junior coaster the some giga coaster track here for the lift hill and then uh, the mini coaster track for the rest of the ride. He even gave it some custom supports here in the middle. And uh, yeah, I really love the way these uh, gardens uh, look. This little island, it looks uh, so uh, cozy. This uh, building here, it's, uh, it's one of my favorite buildings in this round. Uh, it's actually quite uh, simple, but I think the colors uh, work together really well. Also, these uh, little gardens in front of the windows, they look uh, really nice. Uh, yeah, just nice, uh, just nice uh, plants and uh, decorations everywhere. I love these uh, mushrooms here. Uh, th these uh, gardens here with not too bright uh, colors, but uh, yeah, it all just uh, works together uh, really well. So yeah, it's, uh, I think it's a well-deserved uh, third place. Anyway, um, there's just two uh, plots remaining now. I will uh, show both of them, and then after that I will reveal which one uh, will be the winner of this round. Okay, um, here we have the entry from uh, Mulpje. Now, Mulpje usually does really well in our contest, and this one was this round was no uh, exception. Um, I cut out too much. It's quite difficult here to <laughs> see. Uh, okay, I think I got this now. All right. Well, as you can see, it's just uh, beautifully and very densely uh, decorated. Uh, this junior coaster has been turned into a mine train coaster uh, with really short trains. Again, I'm not a fan of these uh, really short trains. I'd rather have one larger train that does multiple circuits. But uh, then this uh, station, it's uh, it's amazing. I love these uh, these uh, buildings here. You can even see some guests uh, walking around in them. Um, yeah, there's a little, even a little river rapids right here. Uh, so yeah, there's just uh, so much uh, stuff crammed into this uh, plot. 
just uh, really uh, beautiful uh, gardens here. I love how the uh, river rapids travel right under the coaster here, although it is quite uh, difficult to actually uh, follow them. But yeah, you can see them uh, go around uh, throughout the throughout the entry. So yeah, that's uh, that's some really cool interaction. Now really cool uh, support here as well, and uh, yeah, these plants everywhere, uh, these rocks, these waterfalls, um, the landscaping here is just uh, amazing. So yeah, that's really uh, Mulpius' uh, strong point, and uh, it's uh, something he shows uh, over and over again in these entries. So uh, great work. Okay, and here's the final entry uh, for this round. This uh, one was made by a left-handed coffee mug. He made this big, uh, well, it looks like a mall. It's a big, uh, yeah, kind of like an arcade uh, building with, uh, also with several rides and uh, karting as well. <laughs> I, st I thought this sign said poop, but it actually says food. So I, I kind of misread that. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely a very interesting uh, building. I think it would be a good idea to uh, take a look inside. Oh, by the way, I also really like this outside area. That's uh, that's really cool. Oh, it looks like I'm also walking around here uh, outside. So let's uh, take a look inside. And I love what he did to his uh, junior coaster. He actually turned it into a kart track. Now this uh, junior coaster actually had some elements which the car go karts would normally just teleport through. But uh, he was clever enough to just hide those uh, parts of the track, uh, yeah, under underground or under this uh, scenery. So yeah, if uh, if we find see the go karts leave uh, soon enough, it will be nice to follow them around through the track. Let me speed it up a little bit. I think it uh, takes a while for uh, for the guests to uh, to enter. Maybe because they are all in uh, other uh, parts of the of the park. Okay, well, yeah. there, uh, there they go. So yeah, you could uh, see them tr slowly traveling up here, and in this uh, underground section, they will actually immediately uh, spawn uh, over here because they, uh, yeah, they teleport uh, through these uh, through this uh, helix element here. And here at the end, the same thing uh, happens again. But yeah, I, I think this is a very unique entry. And uh, I really like this uh, solution that he uh, had for this, uh, for the parts where the go karts actually teleport through the track. It was really clever to hide them on the ground. Now here's also some uh, some cool uh, arcade games here. Looks like a target game and uh, <laughs> the classic uh, shooting uh, game, which you shoot, which you see in uh, every entry where people make uh, arcade games, and uh, ski ball, uh, of course. So yeah, I think this was a really fun entry uh, to watch, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really uh, really nice work. But I think there's probably a little bit too much uh, stuff on the, on the roof, and probably it would have looked maybe it would have looked nice if he, if he actually used some uh, dodgems here, because uh, the ro dodgem roofs uh, really uh, work well for uh, yeah for uh, to make nice looking roofs. It's a bit difficult to show, but I think you get the idea. It probably also works well as solar panels. But uh, as far as I know, he was struggling with the that he could only use uh, 10 rides. He used quite a few uh, texture elements here from different rides. Anyway, we have now seen the entry from uh, Mulpje and the one from Left Handed Coffee Mug. So now it's time to reveal uh, the winner of this round. So. The winner of multiplayer round 39 is... <laughs> well, that's awkward. Um, th it was actually a tie for thir for a first place. So both Mulpia and left-handed coffee mug, uh, they're both the winner of this round. Anyway, uh <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, watching all these entries. Uh, if you want to join one of these rounds, uh, you'll have to join my Discord community uh, and when you're active in our community you chat a lot uh, and uh, you join a lot of uh, other contests then you become a trusted member and only then uh, you will be allowed to play on my multiplayer server 
I cannot just allow everyone to play on my multiplayer server. Because uh, I've made a video which shows you what happens if you just let uh, everyone play on your server. It becomes a mess. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching all these uh, entries. I hope to see you join uh, one of these rounds. And uh, yeah, the next round will start in uh, probably in a week or so. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.